In this clip we will work through an example for implicit differentiation. We start by considering a y which is implicitly defined as a function of x and particularly a differentiable function and in addition meets the following condition x squared minus x times y minus 2y squared is equal to 7. So only points x and y combinations which meet this condition are sort of in our set. And what we now want to know is what is this term dy over dx. So it's important to understand here is that y is really a function of x but it's not written down as such anywhere. It's basically that function that meets this condition. Okay, so it's implicitly defined through this condition as through this condition labeled with an asterisk. So how do we now go about obtaining this term dy over dx if we don't really have a definition of the function y? Well, we start out by taking, um, by differentiating both sides of this equation with respect to x. So let's do that very mechanically for starters, which is right d and then this entire term over dx okay the differentiation with respect to x now there are three summons in here we can split this differentiation up using our standard differentiation rules into three individual differentiations so that's still just going on extremely mechanically so the third term is um, d over dx of 2y squared. And on the right hand side, we uh, calculate the uh, first derivative of 7 with respect to x. So there's some easy wins here. The, this is just going to be 2x. Um, and here in the second term, we'll have x times y. So in some sense, we'll possibly have to use a product rule here. So that's going to get a little mess here. But messy is not an obstacle, so let's do it. So first we have the derivative of the first term. So that's d of x with respect to uh, x. So that's d dx of x. So let me write this down. d dx and of that first part of the product of x and then times so just of x and then times the second uh, factor in the uh, product but so that's just times y and then plus the third factor that's x times d over dx of y of the second part so that is just an application of our standard product rule and then uh, minus uh, d over dx of 2y squared. So of 2y squared. And then on the right hand side, um, we have d over dx of uh, 7. Now, of course, that is uh, the other easy bit that is a derivative with respect to a constant. So that would just be 0. So let's see whether there's anything else, any easy gains. Yes, indeed, um, dx over dx is just 1. And so here we have 1 times y plus x times that. So now we've simplified as far as we can. Now we have to apply the implicit differentiation trick. So here we have a derivative with respect to x on both these terms, but the function is only in terms of y. But we remember that y is really implicitly defined as a function of x. So what we're going to do here is we'll change the variable with respect to which we find the derivative to y. So we have d over dy y and then multiply with dy over dx. Let me create a little bit more space. So we multiply with dy over dx. So that's the sort of implicit differentiation trick we apply here. And we got to do the same over here. 
So let me just create a little bit more space. So we change the variable with respect uh, to which we differentiate to y, but then we multiply with dy over dx. So that's basically the application of a chain rule. And now what we have introduced in here is the term which we are after, dy over dx. <laughs> so if from now on, it's a rather straightforward task to isolate that dy over dx and solve uh, for that. So here we go. We have 2x minus, uh, in parentheses, y plus x times 1 because um, dy over dy is 1 and then multiplied with dy over dx. That was our magic implicit differentiation term. Then we have, um, we differentiate 2y squared with respect to y which gives us uh, 4 times y and multiplied with dy over dx is equal to 0. After basically copying this term over to the other side, we're in a position to isolate all dy dx terms on the left hand side and in the same step we factor out dy over dx and that's equal to 2x minus y. So if we solve for dy over dx we get 2x minus y over x plus 4y. So this is now our expression for dy over dx. This is a slope at this um, implicit function. So you can now calculate the slope at a particular point, let's say at a point of 3 and negative 2, so that's the value of x, that's the value for y, and all we got to do is we got to plug in these numbers, so we get 2 times 3 plus 2 over uh, 3 and then plus 4 times negative 2 which is negative 8 and we get um, negative 8 over 5.